Hello and welcome to the first episode of a series I'm going to do on the create mod. I'm starting off in a random spawn, which is a desert, unfortunately. So the first goal of mine will be finding the nearest village or another biome that isn't sandy. The plan of this series is to mostly just have fun, do some building, and also mess around with the create mod. That's the main goal of it. The Korean mod's really interesting, and I only found out about it recently, so I thought it'd be fun to explore it together. This will also be the first of my use of a VTuber avatar, which I have designed and created myself, and I'll also be doing other series as I go with the avatar. I'm going to quickly raid this village, then I'll keep searching to try find a biome that isn't the desert. Maybe a plains biome or a tiger biome. Who's to say? Okay. I haven't found a biome that isn't a desert one just yet, but I have found whatever this is, as well as a desert temple directly next to a village. So I'm getting some pretty good stuff already. I haven't even gone mining yet, and I'm already going to be making an iron pickaxe. And a shield because that we cannot be without a shield. I am prone to death, and a shield will make me feel much safer. Maybe also a sword if I'm about to go into a cave. Mineshaft cave? I'm not too sure, really. There we go, just put those items away, and in we go. I raided the village, as you can see, from my inventory, and I got a fire aspect one and piercing three book from the place that I found. The temple, which I raided. Now I'm just going to stop down here and grab some of these ores as well, because that they can be useful, especially the coal, because that I do not have any torches. Oh my god, that scared me so badly! I'm blowing with the sound off. That scared me. Oh my god, okay. My heart was racing. Oh, volume up, volume up, volume up, volume up. Okay. I can also hear a spider, which is not good news considering that we're about to go into a mine shaft. But hopefully it will be alright. <laughs> oh, that was terrifying. Oh, and I can see a creeper over there. No thank you, no thank you, no thank you. Don't notice me, don't notice me. I'm not here. Up. It noticed me. Oh my god. Spider dead, creeper noticing me, and dealt with. Is there anything else in here worthwhile at all? This isn't a very big mine shaft, it doesn't even go very far down. Oh, I stand corrected. Okay, great. Yep, let's just. Let's just go into the creepy mine shop with the zombies that I can't see for whatever reason. And we'll grab the chest that I see over there and grab some bread too. While we're at it. Because that I would like to enjoy that thing. Okay. Now to see what's in the chest. And maybe explore a bit more of it. Ooh, a name tag. Name tag, don't mind if I do. 
I'll take the glowberries. And these. We really need to get a toolbox as soon as we can, too. And that looks like it's the end of the mine shaft. Okay. Well, that was fun. Goodbye. Well, now that I'm out of there, I think I'll keep trying to find some less deserty biomes. So, a little bit of time has passed since I last recorded. I've set up camp in a plants biome that I found, which is relatively close to the mesa which I was exploring before. And yes, we are just going to ignore the wandering trader in the background of the video. I've started to set up a farm over here, which is a bit of a work in progress and has yet to be automated. I'll be doing that when it comes to the create mod. I also got diamond and a nether portal over here, which I have plans to eventually decorate. And I've started collecting materials that I need for my base, such as ochrum, limestone, viridium, and dripstone blocks. I'll just have a quick look at what the wandering trader is offering while I'm at it. Mm, nothing interesting. Okay, I'm just going to trap one of the llamas in a boat to keep for later. Nope. Okay, now that I caught one of the llamas to keep, I will be working on a greenhouse next. I'm planning on building a little greenhouse for keeping bees around this area here, and I'll clear off a bit more land over there as well. It's right nearby the farm, which will be useful because they help with the crops. And I'll probably start clearing out some of these walnut trees as well. I collected a bit more okram, which will be used in the beehive, and I'll just skip forward to when it's done being built for you to see. And with that, the house for the bees is out of the way. I wanted it to have a warm feeling, so I mainly used the trees that were around here with the walnuts, because that, that wood tends to go better with warm coloured blocks, and oak room with a few other types of wood, with the oak fences here connecting some glass. This may change over time, but I also thought that having lanterns would add a nice bit of hominess to it. And on the inside, with the sliding doors from the create mod, flowers for the bees to have, a little pond, and some more bushes. Hopefully the bees will like this spot, and I'll be able to get the honey that I need for the many, many bits of copper I plan to wax. As you can see over here, I've got the copper starting to oxidize so that I can use the axe to customize which type I want and wax it into shape. Now that I've got that out of the way though, I'll start on some create mod things. With the create mod, there are a few tools that come in really handy for the rest of the time because that they help you create the resources for all of the other things. Similar to the furnace or crafting table. For example, the presser will allow you to crush different types of metal which is needed for a lot of recipes. And another essential is the toolbox. So the first thing I'm going to try to do is use my andesite which is over here and my iron which I will turn into iron nuggets. 
Now, the recipe for making andesite alloy, that's the word, is that this here with two andesite and two iron nuggets in a four crafting table. Now, this is pretty much the most important resource in making anything with the create mod. For example, the shafts, which are used for making cogs. Now, I'll be making a few cogs to start off with, and later on making water wheels out of the cogs for power, which makes the cogs move. So, to start off with, I'll make a few cogs here. And if you make the small type of cog and you decide that you want a larger one, you can just add a bit extra wood and it will make a large cog wheel. Uh, excuse me. I don't need you groaning in the background. It keeps mimicking mobs and it's very scary. Now that I have the shafts and the larger cog, I can use slabs over here to surround the cog, and when you surround cogs with slabs, it will create a water wheel. And with the water wheel, you can place it down and power it through water and then use the shafts to connect your cogs, which will create movement. I'm also going to create goggles and a wrench while I'm here though, if I can. So the wrench needs golden sheets, and so do the goggles. Okay, I did a mining trip, so I am back with the iron that I need to show how to make the first of the create mod things. We need an iron block for it to make the presser. So for it, we need one block of iron, which I've got, an andesite casing, and a shaft, which I also have in a chest. Now, to show another thing that the andesite ally does, when you use the create mod to build things, you need casings on them. And to get casing, you just have to strip a block of wood, and then right-click it with what you're going to case it in. For this one, I'll be doing andesite, because that is what's needed for most of the tools, especially initially. But later on, there'll be copper and brass casing as well that I can use for different things. So I'll just be casing that tree away. I also have the fast decay, which is very useful. So now that I have that, I'll also grab the other things that I, that I need out of here. And I'll also be making a depot so that I can place the things that I built, which is very easy to make. Very quick and easy. There we go. So with that, I'll make the presser. One shaft, one andesite casing, and one block of iron. And I have the mechanical press. This one gains the force from the tide here. You can see the this little spot that will connect to a shaft and the shaft will be moved by a water wheel or by cogs connected to water wheels. As you can see it protrudes out. Changing the direction of them is easy when you have gear shifts, which I'll probably use a few to try to keep my area tidy once I pick a spot to place this which I'm thinking I will put over in this little area here by the farm. So I'll clear out one more tree quickly from the area and I'll sleep so that I don't get attacked by mobs while doing this. This area is fairly well lit up, but there's a lot of areas that aren't on this island and sometimes they can wander a bit close. Okay. So now that we're back over here, I'll set up my first thing. I also need to get the water wheel, which I forgot. I'll be doing a lot of fetching in these videos because that I tend to put items down and then lose them immediately. It's a talent. Okay. So here I'm going to place my depot. Then I'll place the mechanical press on top. Like 
that so that it will press down. And I'll use a shaft here, and then I'll have the gearbox here, so it'll start to go down here. So I'll clear out a little area down here. I also really need to make a wrench as soon as I can, because it makes moving the water wheels and things a lot more convenient. So the area is cleared out now, so I'll place a water wheel. Usually they aren't placed facing this way, but I don't want to have space issues when it comes to placing things nearby each other. I will probably be moving them later on though, because that having them out in the open on the grass is fun to start off with, but later on having somewhere to put all of them would also be good. Like a warehouse or something. So I'll just go back down here, and I will place the water so that it starts to move. There we go. So then I'll place the shaft here, shaft here, and I will get the gear shift so that I can make it go the correct direction. Gearbox, not shift. Gear shifts are a different thing and they change the actual direction. This just changes which way the cogs are. So I'll need a vertical one, which is just the same one again. And I'll need cogs and another andesite casing. So that's a pretty easy recipe when it comes to these things. Just do that, then this, and I'll make a few extra cogs as well while I go. And gearbox made. So now I can connect it up to this thing. And hopefully everything should start to move. There we go. I'll need gold to use my goggles and make my wrench. So I'll start off with gold, which is in one of these many chests that I have here. There we go. Now the only thing that I really picked the gold out for was for crushing it, so I'll put all of them on. But it does go in box, so if you have ores that you only want to use a little bit of, it's better to separate it out beforehand. I'll also quickly check what's needed for a toolbox, because that is a very good source of storage. And again, it's just leather, golden sheets again, and cog wheels. So I have a few cogs left, and it should be enough for two of the tools, I think, but I'll add another one just in case. There we go. And just put that back on and use the ones that I have right now. For the goggles, I also need two glass, and I used a lot of glass, but I'm not sure that I had any spare. Um, but luckily it looks like I did. And I will also need some string. So I will first make the goggles as they are a favourite of mine. String, gold, and two bits of any type of glass. And it's made. Now when I look at tools, I'll be able to see the amount of kinetic force they have, which is how fast they're going due to the amount of force being used. So you can also get speed controllers to make processes like this faster, but I won't do that just yet because that, it does take a little bit of time. Put the rest back on and go back to the tools. I'm not sure if I have any leather currently on me. Um, no, but I do have Cows over here. Goodbye, cows. It was fun knowing you. Actually, I should probably breed them first so that I don't run out of cows because that would not be good for anyone. Especially not the cows. Well, I don't know how much they'd mind. Most of them would be dead anyway. So here's my wheat, and I'll check on the cows now. Two and two. And all the baby ones that I left from the last time. There we go. 
I'm trying not to hit any of the babies, but it's not succeeding, clearly. But that got me what I needed. One leather, one leather. And I'll make the chest as well for it. A chest here, throw that out because have I tend to waste a lot of things. This and these two. Toxes are one of the most important parts of this mod because that they let you store up to 200 of an item. Which, when you're mining ores and things like limestone, is very useful because I will be needing a lot of things like that. As you can probably see from the already there list. And you can also access it um, from a distance, but I'm not sure what button that is. And to break it, you only need to click it once and it will re-enter your inventory without issue. Now for the wrench, I need a stick. <laughs> and I pretty much got everything that I'll need for it. And voila! Wrench. The wrench, when you right-click on a block, will change the direction that it is going. And then when you shift and right-click, it will break it. Like so. It's a pretty easy, instant way to break blocks with the create mod, because that some of them are a little bit confusing to work out what breaks which thing. So now I have my gold sheets, I'll just store some of those for later, because they may be relevant later down the line. And the next of the create mod tools that I will be using is a mixer, because that I need that to make brass. So a whisk is needed, which is... Five iron sheets and two andesite, andesite alloys, which I'll make really quickly over here, and I'll also get the, the other materials needed while I go. There we go, that didn't take me few, several tries at all, I swear. For the andesite, I'll just do this, and this, and case it. There we go. And I still have cogs left over, so I can do that last bit as well. When you are mixing, though, you will need a mixing bowl, which I'm not sure the name of. I'll probably have to just ponder the mixer, which is one of my favorite things about the create mod. That you can just pause, identify, and find the exact name of each object that's related, as well as having easy tutorials for everything. So I'll also check out what's needed for a basin. And the basin is very simple, I just need to go to a crafting table and use the alloy so that it will make the basin. And the basin is what stores the items that you throw in when they get mixed. And for the sake of neatness, I'll line it up about here. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. I got this, I got this. Here, here. There we go. Now I'll know what to put the rest of the things in. And I'll go make a water wheel ahead of time while I'm waiting for the other things to be made. I think it's fun to show the whole process of me getting all the items together, but if if I end up doing more time skips and jumps forward and backwards, that may happen a bit less. It depends on what people want, I think, but also on what I find more fun, because I'm mostly going to be doing this as a hobby rather than as a job, so it's going to be a bit more personal and just enjoying the process as I go. So I have the basin. I have food, because that I was getting hungry, I have the bed next to me about to sleep, and I need to make the water wheel. Look at me, not getting sidetracked at all! So, shaft, shaft, that, 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 this, and this. Might as well have a few more. And then use one of those and some wood to make the large cogwheel. And some slabs. 
There we go, there we go, there we go. And I'll surround it with the slabs. And there's our second water wheel. Oh. Um, never mind. There's not a second water wheel, I guess. Row and place. There we go. Sleeping, sleeping, can't forget a sleeping. Okay. Now I will place the water wheel down and check on if the smelting is done over here. No, it's not done. <laughs> okay. Iron grabbed here. Make the mixer. Mi mix, mix. I can spell mix. I can spell mix. And the whisk is set up, so I can create this now. Shaft as well. Later on I'll probably move both of these forward a little bit more, or a bit further this way really, because that having a speed controller to speed these things up will prove very useful in the end. There we go. This one is connected using a cog for more direct movement, while this one is pushing downward. I'm not quite sure why they are different, but... I'll need to actually use some cogs for this one first, too. So, I can probably just do that, and then go straight down. And then I'll just complete this bit of movement. If I can. No, I ran out of, of shafts. Okay. And we're already almost entirely out of andesite, andesite alloy, which is alright, So, but I will be getting more later. And with that I have the mixer. The mixer can be used for a lot of things such as food, materials. The main use is for brass, which is used in a fair amount of recipes. So brass here is done in a mixer with zinc and copper. And now I have a lot of copper and I have a lot of zinc, so I'll show how it works potentially now. I think that I'll need a blaze for the brass though, I'm not too sure. Yep, I need a blaze burner, which I can get, but I'll have to take a, tri a trip to the nether before I do anything else. Which is alright, because that I did set up a portal over there. Now the nether is a bit of a process to go to, so I'll probably skip the collection of the blaze and I'll be back when I've gotten everything I need. Um, okay, so about, um, not showing the process of going through the nether and struggling to find a fortress, well... Um, I'd say I got an interesting nether portal placement. Yep. So, I'll just go back, I guess. Okay, I'm back in the overworld with my blaze burner placed down. The blaze burner needs to be fed of wood or planks of any kind, which currently can't really be done automatically, but later on I'll try to automate it, maybe with the mechanical hands. And there was a bit of an issue with there not being enough kinetic stress to power the mixer, so I put another water wheel up next to it and connected them with cogs, so now it's working at an optimal speed to go completely automatically. So the way you use the basin as well is you just throw in the ingots and the copper and it'll do the mixing for you, and then it'll just leave them to get picked up. You can also deposit them with through a funnel and put, have them land on a depot for easier collection, but I'm not going to do that at the moment. I didn't get around to building a base this time, however next episode I'll probably build a base, start thinking up some lore in between the episodes, have some fun and figure out what I'm planning on doing. I'm thinking of building a giant clock tower, which I might have mentioned earlier, but that's the only other real building idea I currently have. I think a train would also be very interesting, though. 
And the copper finished mixing, so I'll just collect all the brass ingots and place them in the chest. Thank you for watching if you've come this far. Um, feel free to subscribe, leave a like if you'd like. But I'm mostly just doing this to have some fun and explore the create mod. So do what you want, really. Thank you for watching and goodbye.